In this video tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to import SVG files from 3dsvg.com, also known as Dreaming Tree, into Silhouette Studio Designer Edition or higher, which includes Designer Edition, Designer Edition Plus, and Business Edition. Before you can get the files into Silhouette Studio, we do need to unzip them. Now, if you need help unzipping on a PC or a Mac, we do have a dedicated video to unzipping files, which is located on our site 3dsvg.com in our help section. In this demonstration, I have the file unzipped and on my desktop. Now when you download yours, it may end up in your downloads folder, but you can either unzip it into the downloads folder or you can unzip it to your desktop or another folder dedicated to SVG files. Again, we have a separate video dedicated to downloading and file management, which you can find on our site 3dsvg.com. All right, now that your file is unzipped, we're ready to go ahead and bring that into Silhouette Studio. All we need to do is go up here to File and Open, and we just need to navigate to the directory we want to use. Now, I have mine saved in a folder on my desktop called SVGs, so I'm going to go into that directory and then locate the projects or project that I want to work on. For this example, I'm going to use Autumn Calling, so I'm going to double click in there. And you'll see that this bundle contains a JPEG or a photo of all the projects together. And it also contains the three projects in their own directory that were included in this bundle. For this example, I'm going to go into the falling leaves. And you'll see that this one is also broken down. Each file contains a menu PDF which will show you all the elements that are included in the file. It will also include a photo of the final project and the SVG folder. All we need to do is double click on the SVG folder and you will see all of the elements included in that file. If I click on one and I click open, you'll see that that is now loaded into my mat in the center. Additionally, you will see that it opened a new tab up here on the top left called Elements Chocolate. Now if I do that again and do File Open, it takes me back to the directory where we just were. Now say I wanted to open all of these. If I hold my Shift key down, you'll see that I'm able to click on every single one of these files and I can click OK. All right, so now what you'll see is all of those elements have been imported into Silhouette Studio and you can see them as they are represented by their own tabs at the very top. So this is a really quick time saver if you wanted to bring all of these in at the same time. So you'll see that all of these are here. All right, so the next step is to click the send button which is located in the top right hand corner of Silhouette Studio. And now depending on the version and the addition of your software, by default SVG files brought into Silhouette Studio do not always contain cut data. So we will need to tell Silhouette Studio that we want these files to cut. Now in this example you will see that they do have a red outline on the outside of them which means that they are in my software set to cut. And I can check that by clicking on it and you'll see that now that it is highlighted with this black rectangle and you'll see over here on the right hand side it does show cut. Now if for some reason when you click on yours it does not show a red outline around that all you would need to do is click cut and it would go ahead and put an outline around it and if you had any score lines those would be highlighted as well. If for some reason you clicked your send button, which is down here on the bottom right, and it was still selected to no cut, you would get a message from Silhouette telling you that your project was complete, but nothing actually would have cut. So you would make sure that your design is highlighted, and you click the cut option here in the uh, tool panel. Now all that's left is to go ahead and click the send button, and this will send to your Silhouette Studio. Don't forget to go ahead and change your material type that's located on the top right hand corner before you click the send button and you're ready to go.